the corner for Joe. Got it. No, he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Nice call. Game's over. Alabama defeats Miami. Number two beats number one, 34 to 13. And I'm going to say it for the second time. I do believe Thebes Stallings has succeeded. So there. in tonight's ball game, George Teague. Well, George, first of all, even though it was called back for an offside, describe how you made that great steal from Thomas. Oh, wow. It was very exciting. I, I thought he was going to score. I had to pick it up a little bit. I was fortunate enough to get my hand in, rip it out, and hold on to it and try to run. And then the key play of the game, absolutely. Take us through the interception. Oh, I've been dreaming of one of those about four years now. Uh, Gino, he just... Having to throw it right through me, they had nobody in front of me, went in for a score. You know, all year you had to read in the polls, Miami number one, Miami number one. There was one guy in Arizona said that Alabama was number one. How sweet is this victory tonight? I'll tell you what, it's so sweet. If I have five pounds of sugar, I can take it all in right now. I guess says it all, Keith. <laughs> well, they didn't stumble into it. They didn't back into it. They just whipped to Miami, 34 to 13. Keith Jackson, Bob Greasy, Jack Aroot, we hope you enjoyed it. We wish all of you a happy and prosperous and healthy. Florida State battles down, and they kick the 22-yarder, only to have Frazier make that long pass, and now 45 yards to steal it from Florida State and to give Cinderella, Nebraska, a tremendous win and a national championship. And he hooked it left. Florida State wins. Bobby Bowden is in position for a national championship with only Notre Dame to beat. After two wide rights for the Seminoles, Bowden agonizingly watches one go left. O.J. Yeah, coach. <laughs> what do you want, O.J.? <laughs> coach saw the poetic justice that it came down to a field goal, but this time you won. You know what? Thinking it's quick to lose. I was thinking that we'll end up getting beat by a field goal again. But one thing you might get criticism for is that you didn't let time run off that clock before you kicked the field goal. Oh, yeah, then our kids run out there and get a 15-yard penalty. Oh, yeah, we, we wasn't very smart. We didn't play very smart offensive tonight. But somehow I think you'll take all of this. I'll take every bit of it and the rest of it they can say what they In the second half, the team seemed to pick it up. Well, we did. We were... Offense was hash, hash. <laughs> Our offense, I didn't think, was very good tonight. But congratulations, Coach. Thank you, O.J. <laughs> Thank you, Merck. All right, O.J. Simpson with all the crowd and uh, around the victorious head coach, Bobby Bowden. Tough for that microphone, but I think we got the essence of it all. Uh, he's happy with the victory, obviously, but uh, how agonizingly close he came to Ooh. having another one denied. What torture for both teams in this situation. This, again, not even close. This one not close, but there was a fumble, remember, on a Florida State touchdown on the goal line, controversial, and a Nebraska punt return for a touchdown called back by a penalty that we couldn't find. So that close to victory were the Cornhuskers, and there'll be a lot to chew on in the winter in Lincoln and throughout the great state of Nebraska. Now the moment is his.
Let's go to John Dockery with the national champion coach, Tom Osborne. You finally got it after a long time. Yep. Coach, you finally got it after a long time coming. What does it mean to you? Well, it means a lot. I'm really proud of the players. Played a great game, a lot of heart. You've come Fourth close. Quarter. Coach, you've come close many times. Is it all more sweeter now? Well, it's, it's enjoyable. Let's put it that way. Did you somehow feel that this was your year coming into the game? I well, thought I, thought that, I thought in the fourth quarter we'd be the best team we were. That's great. What was the difference today? Well, I think just uh, we were probably in good condition, maybe a little stronger physically in the fourth quarter. Miami has a great team. Yeah! I gotta get Congratulations, in. Coach. It's a terrific victory. Thank you. Nice look at Tommy, back to you. Okay, John. Tom Osborne, vintage Tom Osborne, gracious in victory as he always has been in defeat. Nebraska earns a national championship with a tough win over Miami in the Orange Bowl. Final score 24-17. Well, they were getting all set up. They know better than to try to do that on the Tom Osborne, right? They got one of the assistant coaches. Those guys are smart. 629 yards total offense. Any questions? No, they're going to go for the coach. They got him after all. He doesn't mind. Not now. Come on, Tom. Go ahead. Crack a smile. You have won a second straight national championship. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. And tonight, we talk about domination. In a championship game, in a big game, you don't see it to this degree very often. We may, we may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight, Jim. But a lot of people think this may be the quarterback right here next year. Easier than... Okay. And that's what we're doing. Take their claim for the national championship of the 1996 season. difference with your team's performance before in this game in the last one? They just beat us in every part of the game. I thought the kicking, the punch that rolled dead on our one, I think they scored off of both of them, I'm not sure. But this kept us in the hole and we couldn't, uh, just couldn't capitalize. They just beat the heck out of us in every part of football. Congratulations on a great season. Let's go to Lynn Swan. Okay. Steve, congratulations. I think well, it's going to be a national championship for you. We've got to let you say how you feel at uh, this moment. Swanee, uh, God has smiled on the Gators, no question about it. Texas did what they had to do, and then Ohio State did it. Uh, of course, we had not won it yet. we got to wait on the vote tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it'll work out, but, you know, God smiled on us, and Danny Warfel was the best. He's the best player to ever played college quarterback, I'll tell you that. You, you, got help, you got help from the right places, but the game plan had to come together, a much more physical ball game by your team and the great well, game plan. Well, we had to get in the shotgun, and Danny's good in there, and, and get the ball off, and then we was able to run a little bit later, but Danny did it all, and uh, the whole team played super. Proud of everybody. Coaches of all time. And he's 20 seconds away from the career-ending victory. Only fitting that it would end with a victory and perhaps a national championship for Tom Osborne. He leaves us with 255 wins. And not a happy ending for Peyton Manning. As he heads toward the NFL. Tom Osborne heads for a fishing pole. Let's check in with Ayman Kitayan. 
Peyton, obviously, first three turnovers in the first half, tough to overcome to get the ball away to Nebraska. Yeah, that killed us. So you can't turn the ball over against a great team like Nebraska and expect to win. And uh, that really hurt us. We were hoping to play the state free football. We didn't do it. That hurt us. The wind, the pressure from the defense. Not really, really just hurt ourselves most of the game. They're a great defense, and you don't have to give them anything easy. Their offense is going to make you pay, but we, you know, we really hurt ourselves all night. One professional question. Indianapolis has the first pick. Does that really, matter to you? I really don't know at this point. You know, it's my last college game, but now that it's over, I'll kind of make the next move, and we'll just see what happens. Class act, Peyton. Sean, back to you. Thank you, Arvin. Nebraska, a winner. 42 to 17, the final. As the Cornhuskers close out the ninth undefeated and untied season in the history of Nebraska football. Stay with us for the College Football Today Ford Division postgame show coming up right after this word from your local station. He's lived there all of his life. He will live there all of his life. And uh, he now has security. And his football team has won a national championship. And uh, it's fun to see. And I congratulate him. Bobby Bowden, of course, is a longtime legend. And he, too, will congratulate Phil Fulmer. Because the Tennessee Volunteers felt they might very well be a team of destiny. They talked about it quietly, discussed it with the kind of respect that you had to have for it. And uh, they've won 13 games. They have lost none, and they've stood up to every challenge, and they came out of the blocks at the very start of the season, almost losing at Syracuse, and pulled it out against Arkansas, against Mississippi State. Beat Florida for the first time Beat in Florida. five years. Probably was the biggest thing that happened to them and really got them going. And so it is done. The Tennessee Volunteers have defeated the Florida State Seminoles 23-16. to 16. And he is taken. Well, the first champion huh, of the 21st century, and it's a familiar face over there, Bobby Bowden and the Florida State Seminoles. It took Bowden 24 years, but he finally got it perfect. And now one of the genuine good guys can enjoy his second national championship as he wins the Nokia Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. The Seminoles are champions. 46 to 29. Coach Frank Beamer and his Hokies showed a lot of heart in their comeback, but they came up short. And he'll go over to congratulate Coach Bowden. One stat that Virginia Tech will go home and think about. Corey Moore tonight was held to one tackle. They lose it. The presentation is coming up next here on ABC. After the Big 12 game, he says, remember, he says, be respectful of your opponent and be humble. Say we and not I, and it's a, it's a team thing. And it really is. The way they play, it's a team thing. The champions of the 67th FedEx Orange Bowl are the still undefeated and now finally respected suitors of Oklahoma. Welcome them home because they they are certainly the champions. Two great programs, one champion. The Miami Hurricanes. And so it is. The season of 2001 and the championship game of 2002 is done in the books with the final score. We over on the side of Miami, 37 to 14. Well, this was a festive night. I mean, from the get-go with the F-16 fighters flying overhead and the national anthem and the, the game itself. Just wish it had been a better game. And Kellen Winslow and Dorsey under pressure. Throws it. Incomplete. The Buckeyes win. 
Dorsey Grant was the man who pressured Dorsey, and now the party begins for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They are 14 and 0. And they are the national champions of college football. And they did it their way, Keith, with defense. Right down to the very last play. Brilliant call by Mark D'Antonio, bringing the corner blitz rather than linebacker off the corner and see Grant forcing Dorsey to put up a prayer. The tough guy of the night, Frenzel. Craig Frenzel, quarterback, Ohio State. Through the ball, he played. Threw the ball 21 times, only completed seven. He ran the ball 19 times for 81 yards, and he scored twice. And he's got a million bruises to show for it. It was the tackle of Wilhelm on Dorsey that may well have been the big play defensively for Ohio State. Because Ken Dorsey is less than whole right now. Hangs it. Had an opportunity for Perkins back there at about the 21 yard line. LSU wins the BCS National Championship. Nick Saban coming across the field. Shake hands with Bob Stoops. To hoist the 71st FedEx Orange Bowl trophy. Your BCS national champions, the Trojans of USC. A perfect season at 13-0 and let the celebration for the University of Southern California begin. USC tonight. They're the national champions here at the FedEx Orange Bowl. 55 points on the board. 55 to 19. Top ranked USC over number two, Oklahoma. I feel like Joe. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Fourth and five, the national championship on the line right here. He's going for the corner. He's got it. Vince Young scores. Four two. Runs it. And made it. Put it down there and over. Okay. Oh, coming hard. Lineup sends it ahead to Bush. Got a block. Goes down and out of bounds. Stopping the block. At eight seconds to play in a ball game. Eight seconds is not very much. Lineup. Runs away from the pressure. Now he's got to throw it. And throws it high and out of bounds. And the game is over. Texas has defeated Southern California 41 to 38 to win the National Championship of College Football. This is win number 800 for the University of Texas Longhorn. And a classic. Lived up all, to all the hype, all the buildup. Incredible effort by all these young men. Well, Vince Young, then stepped beyond the pale. He's out there somewhere by himself. <laughs> I 
tell you, Keith, nobody has ever had a game like that. And all his teammates had faith in him, knew he could do it. This is Vince Young's team. He earns his degree in communications, and this is going to do it. For the second time in 100 years of football at the University of Florida, the Gators celebrate as national champions. Indeed for Chris Lee, his final game at the University of Florida, and he leaves a champion. And LSU football has been something they felt good about for a long time, and that helped a number of people through a very, very difficult situation. Well, congratulations to the LSU Tigers. The 2008 All-State BCS National Champions. Tebow takes a knee, and that is that. Congratulations to the University of Florida Gators who have won the school's third national football championship. And really, Charles, you begin the conversation now when you talk about greatest players in the history of college football. Tim Tebow, a pair of national championships, a Heisman Trophy Award in three years. He is unquestionably in that top ten, perhaps now in the top five. And I believe he'll be back next year to burnish his legend. That'll do it. Crimson Tide wins the national championship. The Bear would be proud. man went to one of the great high schools in South Florida. A lot of football players come out of St. Thomas Aquinas. And that's where West Byron played his high school football. Dyer busts for the end zone. Reaches for it. Touchdown. Take a seat, Mr. Byron. Mr. Dyer says there will be no field goal tonight. Let's take this to the house. Following the review, it's been determined that the runner's knee was down. The ball was at the half-yard line. It will be first goal at the half-yard line. The clock will start on the ready for play. Oh, well, they're going to take time off the clock is what they're going to do here uh -huh. with this formation. Maybe make sure that Oregon doesn't have a chance to return the kickoff is what they're going to try to do. And he's tried to sneak in first of all and didn't make it and now they've got to stop it. So now. <laughs> so 
So Wes Byram coming out here. Backup quarterback Neil Cottle is the holder. He's from Hoover, Alabama. Young man from Georgia, Josh Harris. This is where, Brent, when you go to all these practices that you and I go to, you wonder, where's the snapper? Where's the holder? Where's the, kick, the field goal kicker? They're usually inside playing video games in the air conditioning during two days. You hope that all the reps that they, that they do all year, it just becomes automatic. It's not so much about Wes under these kind of circumstances in the kick. It's the snap and it's the hold. You want to make sure they get it down. This is for all the Tostitos. wins the BCS National Championship. Twenty two to nineteen. Confetti flying here in Glendale. And the SEC has now won five consecutive BCS National Championships. ...to grow after the championship two years ago. What this defense was able to do tonight to lead them to yet another national championship for the Crimson Tide. So on fourth down... Remember last time in the championship, they hit him over the head when they tried to get the water? Let's see if he told them, be careful this time, fellas. Alabama gets a second chance and makes the most of it. They win the BCS championship behind coach Nick Saban and quarterback A.J. McCarron. If it hadn't been so decisive, you would wonder if the Associated Press would vote LSU number one. But after what they've seen here tonight, there is no way that anybody can vote a team better than what we looked at with the Crimson Tide. There's Barrett. He's hiding. Pretty hard for Barrett Jones to hide. <laughs> Everybody's trying to hide him. Saban knows he's coming. Oh, you got you got DJ Fluker in the front. That'll, oh, I mean, that'll hide that. Barrett. Yeah, that's yeah, the total yeah. eclipse. There we go. Yo, baby. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> there they are. The process continues. And Saban with his third national championship at Alabama in four years he's all kidding aside he's still trying to coach that last play he's still there's no question that that's it <laughs> stay tuned for the ford bcs post game show immediately following tonight's game Jimbo would go ahead and run it. He's put Winston up under center. No, throw it. In zone, jump ball. Touchdown. You know who he went for, number one. Davis is coming out. Down at the 16-yard line against Jimbo, coming down to his quarterback with nine seconds. Of course, very influential in getting Jameis Winston also to, to go to Florida State. 
Marshall fires sideline and incomplete and out of bounds and now three ticks left on what will go down as one of the most incredible seasons in the history of the SEC regardless regardless of whether or not they win tonight we will always remember those moments with the Auburn Tigers and they played their hearts out tonight against a heavily favored Florida State team and the celebration is about to begin last play here comes the lateral hook and ladder give it back throw it across the field and let's see if Mason can take it down the sideline cuts to the middle Florida State rules the BCS A dramatic second half comeback by the Knowles. Let's party, Tallahassee. Let's have some fun. And there is Damian Craig, who we were talking about, embracing Jameis Winston. As Herbie said, Damian, who played at Auburn, helped bring Winston south of the border down Florida way. Two teams went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Auburn got its wish. They got the Knowles into the fourth quarter, but they couldn't stop them. A hundred-yard kickoff return, and then the Heisman Trophy winner goes six to seven, 77 yards, and the winning toss to big Kelvin Benjamin. January first with these guys. Yep. Mariota escapes. This will be the final play of the game. Heaves it, and it's not fitting. It ends with an interception. And the Ohio State Buckeyes are the first national champions of the playoff era. Still shooting the confetti into the air. And in this blizzard, the Buckeyes are national champions. His looks just so different tonight as a leader of this team. How about Nick Saban, Chris? Finally. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. I got him. Some crimson Gatorade. <laughs> they did a good job. Fourth championship in Tuscaloosa. Fifth if you include the championship at LSU. Put him up there with the all-time greats. Alabama back on top of the college football world. Another building block in this dynasty. In the desert tonight. A very famous hero. A man who's waited a long time to see center stage, O.J. Howard. Richie Ragland in that defense had to work hard to stop the brilliance of Deshaun Watson. Two buddies who became friends in New York at the Heisman Ceremony, Watson and Henry. Everybody gave everything tonight. 45-40, Alabama wins for overtime. Watson, touchdown! Hunter 
Renfro. Little man makes another enormous play. One second remaining. One final piece of business. Hugel just boots it along the ground. They fall on it. Clemson Tigers, new kings of college football. After reviewing the play, the kickers legally possess the ball beyond 10 yards. The ball belongs to Clemson with one second on the clock at the 46 yard line. That's fitting, Kirk. Send Deshaun Watson out in victory formation. Let him end this championship game and his career with a kneel down, huh? Absolutely. Keep that football and put it in his trophy case. He has meant so much to the Clemson program, so much to college football. Talk about a guy Indeed. that, that uh, has done it the right way, graduated in three years, led this team the last three years to, to heights they've never been for Dabo Sweeney. And Dabo will beat his alma mater, and Clemson will beat Bama for the first time in 40,619 days. Going back to 1905. Official. Punctuation. Clemson dethrones and avenges Alabama. A sequel every bit as special as the classic a year ago. Alabama's ferocious defense had its way early. Deshaun Watson and the Tigers had the final word with a spectacular fourth quarter. Just a great, a great game. Both teams left it out there, played well. You know, Clemson defense, make sure you recognize the job that they did. They got down by 14, and then they kind of seemed to just settle in. Their goal was to make Jalen Hurts have to throw to win. And while he made some plays, especially late, what looked like potentially a game-winning touchdown, it was still a great effort for them to kind of dig in and give Deshaun Watson time to adjust and come back. What do you say we hear from Deshaun with Tom Renault?